Welcome to my channel where we discuss everything politics, economy, and development in Nigeria and around the world. What is an apparent desperate bid to impeach the governor of River State, Simi Fubara? It appears that the Minister of the Federal Capital Threat Abuja and the former governor of River State, Yeso Wike, has gone for the juggler. And this has dire consequences for the politics of River State and the politics of Nigeria. There is a breaking news that the crisis rocking the River State House of Assembly has taken a new dimension on Monday with the 27 members of the River State House of Assembly defecting from the ruling People's Democratic Party in the states to the All Progressive Congress. The lawmakers reportedly cited division in the party, in the PDP, as the primary reason for their defection to the opposition or progressive congress, which is the party, the ruling party at the center in Abuja, in which the man who is believed to be behind their move, yes, so we care, is a serving minister. Now, the lawmakers cited division in the PDP as the primary reason for their defection to the APC. The affected lawmakers are said to be the ones loyal to the Minister of the Federal Capital Threat, Abuja, yes, on weekend. The lawmakers, it was gathered, held plenary session by 8 a.m. on Monday, where the decision was taken by them to search under tax security at the entrance of the assembly complex and thus made it clear that they are now lawmakers representing APC in the River State House of Assembly. Now this means that there is a dramatic turn in the political event in River State which is likely to have serious consequences both for River State and for the country. And uh, we all are aware of the volatile nature of reverse politics. And that with this development, it is no longer in doubt that Yeso Wike and his group, they are desperate to see that the governor, Fubara, is impeached. And uh, there is a saying that only a tree that will be told that it's going to be cut down and it will remain standing until they go and bring the matches to cut it down. It means that yes, on Wike and this uh, AP, PDP lawmaker that have now defected to the APC are ready for war because the, the truth of the matter remains that in reverse politics, if you go through the trajectory of reverse politics, it has always been very violent when it gets to this level where somebody felt that his seat is threatened. We can recall what happened under Amechi. We can recall how, what happened even under Yeso Mike himself. Now the same thing is playing out. The, the indication is this, that River State is not going to be the same again. And it also means that Yeso Mike has disregarded all the pleas by the Ejo elders. Fubara is the first Ejo to govern River State since 1999. People from Ikwere extraction had governed River State since 1999. Now the only Ejo person that had been there as governor, yes, so we can think that he can remove him and the Ejo people will keep quiet. He will create serious ethnic tension. He may not know it now, but that is where it's heading to. It's going to create ethnic tension in River State, and it's not going to end well. And the implication of this is also to Bola Metinubu, who appointed Yesu Mike as a reward for his alleged rule in uh, his victory in River State. That, from all indications, Yesu Mike has lost grip of River State. 
there is no way that the people of Nigeria, the people of River State will tolerate anything that will see to the impeachment of Fubara. They are not going to accept it that it's a proper thing to, to be done. Already we know that the judiciary in Nigeria have been sold to the dog, to the dogs. But if they continue in that direction, people will see the hand of Bola Metinbo in it, and they will not be right, uh, it will not win well for the government. They may think they are still benefiting now. At the end of the day, the people will resist what they are trying to do. Because what is giving Yesu Wike power now is because he's in the government at the center. The report said that our tax security, who provided the tax security, is police from Abuja, giving order from Abuja. Already we, we, we all are witnesses in the videos that went viral that Fubara himself was tear gas when he went to inspect the assembly complex that was bombed the other time. And uh, the leader of the John Nation, people like Chief Edwin Clark, had already raised the alarm and warned the president to call Yesu Wike to order. It appears he's not ready to do that. Yesu Wike is not listening. He has gone for the juggler. The presidency have to intervene and call Yesu Wike to order. If not, things is going to go out of hand in River State. River State is strategic to the economy of Nigeria. It is strategic to the economy of Nigeria. And whoever is the governor of River State has a lot of power. No minister can be more powerful than the governor of River State. If you go through the history of River State, anybody who had been governor of River State had always been strong politically, both within and outside, because of the enormous resources there were. That was why in, 19, in 2007, when Obasanjo was living, one of the strongest pillars of politics in Nigeria was Dr. Peter Odele. He was so, he had a lot of money, so much war chest that there was already groundwork for him to become the successor to uh, Obasanjo. The only reason why he was not able to succeed Obasanjo was the alleged EFCC report that was presented by Nuhu Rebado at the time. Then Obasanjo now had to fall back to Musa Yaradua. So you can see how powerful River State Governor had always been. Look at Chibi Kerot Miyamechi. He was so powerful that he was able to use River's money, it was alleged, in sponsoring uh, Buhari to become the president of Nigeria. Do you know what it means? That Buhari trusted him to be his campaign manager 2015, 2019. It was because he was able to deliver. And what gave him the clout is the money. The same thing happened to years ago. Weekend. All the grand and all the noise he had making is because of the money in River States that he had control over. And that money is now in the hand of Fubara. Fubara. And he thinks he can kick Fubara out by mobilizing the lawmakers and then mobilizing Abuja. It will end up disastrously, both for him and for the federal government, if Tinubu support stays. Already Tinubu should know it, that Yes Wike fighting with the governor of River State means that Yes Wike has lost ground in River State. He cannot be able to help Tinubu in 2027. If he thinks so, then Tinubu is just wasting his time, he's just deceiving himself. He can't be able, Yes Wike can't deliver rivers for him. Can't deliver rivers. In fact, it would even be better for Tinubu to befriend Fubara so that if he want uh, support in River State to win River State in 2027, Fubara can be the person that can do it because Fubara will have everything. All those resources that Yesu Wike had that he was able to supposedly help him to win River State, Fubara has it now. Yesu Wike don't have it. So I think President, Mama, uh, President uh, Tinubu should uh, be careful with Yesu Wike before he spoil his chances further in 2027. That's the way I see this thing for now. Uh, thank you for watching this video. And if you are new to my channel, I'm not yet subscribed to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you. And please don't forget to like this video because when you like it, God will rank it hard and recommend it for more people.
Thank you and God bless you and yours.